This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Uh, can I ask a question here before we go further? Who in the yeah, fuck yeah. is Leo Burke? Man, I'm glad I you don't. Asked. I don't remember Leo Burke. I'm sorry. I can't believe you don't remember old Leo Burke. <laughs> I don't. And I, Leo, I apologize to you, man. We just he's listening. He's still with us. He's 72 okay. years old. Okay. I uh, started wrestling uh, in 1966. Uh, oh in wow! Central States wrestling. So he's a veteran. Oh, big time. Hey, he, he he looks pretty good here. I mean, looks rugged and the singlet and he was, uh, I, I was thinking he was in stampede and yes, he was. That's where I knew him from. Mm -hmm. He, uh, his final title reign was in stampede wrestling. Uh, and then he bounced around a little bit, but a, a journeyman guy here and he would even check out Puerto Rico. So he's all over the place and, mm -hmm. you know, pretty well decorated, but although he didn't spend a lot of time here, I see yeah. why you wouldn't necessarily know him. Yeah, because I don't, he just wasn't, uh, I mean, this is kind of, we, we've talked about this. We've had kind of like the same, uh, the same people every week, mm -hmm. but Leo Burke being in is, is really something different. So, but they were giving him a shot, which is good. And he's doing a great job. So anyway, uh, I first, yeah, picks uh, first thing I would go in, in, in the morning, first thing I'd do, they would send me into, into an audio booth, a real, really nice audio booth to read down the picks. And they would, they would have them typed out for me. And, uh, and that's when the, my first time there, uh, we had, uh, we had people from uh, Georgia championship wrestling, uh, who was, who was there, who were there and they would have a list of picks. Eventually I started writing the picks myself because I knew the towns that Jimmy wanted to promote. And I remember sitting down the first time, uh, in the audio booth with a girl named Sarah Lee. And she was the audio engineer and she said, okay, uh, here's the picks they gave me. She said, uh, read through them once. If you're not comfortable with them, we'll do it again. No big deal. And she said, we're rolling. And I, I belted that shit out, man. Boom. World championship wrestling coming to the Greensboro Coliseum. And I would just bam, 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 bam. And after I got done, she said, wow, you've done this shit before. Haven't you <laughs> I said, yes, yes, I have. I know how to scream this shit out. So. Uh, the, doing the picks were, they were great. And I'm really disappointed. They're not in here. Mm -hmm. I'm really in because they were, that was a big part of it. That was kind of like the, uh, the local promos for the mid Atlantic show. Well, let me just mention if perhaps, uh, Matt Shivani wants that I can get it. I have access to all of the original feeds of this wow. and the mid Atlantic show, mm -hmm. but the, the only way we can let everyone at home watch with us is mm. to refer them to the WWE network. Okay. If you're looking for that on, on DVD or something, I can make that happen. See Leo mm. Burke going for the cover here over George South, by the way, did a little research while you were telling us about picks. His first appearance with the promotion is in January. He's going to finish up at the end of May. His last show will be May 31st. So he's in for a few months, which back in the territory days, that was pretty common. You come mm -hmm. in for a few months and then you're right. down the road to the next one. Black Bart going to take on Dr. X. You've been a, a little critical, I guess, of Jimmy Garvin's promos. He had one a couple of weeks ago that was sort of rambling a little bit. What'd you think mm -hmm. of that? One? I liked it. I liked the, the kissing. You want to kiss and uh, Jimmy's, uh, Jim, that one interview just rambled on that we were talking about, but he, he listen, Jimmy, Jimmy was a hell of a talent, buddy. Oh yeah. I mean, he, he really was. I, here's a. He, Again, I watch these things and bing stories pop into my head. Here's a Jimmy Garvin, Wahoo McDaniel story. We were doing interviews in the back. We were still doing them during this era. Right. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Jimmy Garvin was doing, doing an interview with precious with me standing there, just like we're standing there now, but we're in the backstage and doing the local promos and they were doing, they were kissing back and forth and three, two, one cut and Wahoo said, if my job entailed me kissing my wife every day, I think I'd kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> he was serious. <laughs> he said, and then he went on, he said, can you imagine having to travel with your wife all the time? And part of your gimmick was just kissing her all the time. I, I, I don't think I could do that. <laughs> so good. And I love Karen McDaniel. I, and, uh, I know Karen, I've seen Karen recently, his widow, uh, and she's a great woman. And they have a great son. And uh, 
um, just, uh, I hate to see Wahoo leave. The good news about all this is that we're going to be seeing Wahoo here soon. Yeah, we haven't seen him yet this year at all. Right. In 1986 on TV, or at least on this show. Hmm. I want to briefly mention, I don't think a lot of people may know this, but Olivia Walker gets all the credit for making all the flares robes. His Mm -hmm. early stuff was actually made by Wahoo's wife, Karen McDaniel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Karen looks good, man. I, she, uh, we had her at an AEW vet backstage. It may have been our last pay-per-view. And she still looks good, man. She really does. She's taking care of herself. And uh, she was always one of my favorites. I wanted to mention, too, we heard uh, uh, Flair give everybody the heads up where he was going to be partying tomorrow night in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, he was going to be at uh, Timothy John's, which was Tim Ecclestone's uh, bar. It was off of uh, Roswell Road in Sandy Springs. Mm, I know where Back that in is. The day, it was the hot spot, it was the place to be. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Tim Ecclestone, if you're not familiar, was a uh, hockey player for the local Atlanta team, the Atlanta Flames at the time. Mm. Did you ever go to Timothy Jones? Never went to Timothy Jones. I think later it became a Jocks and Jills, but I know exactly where you're talking about. It's right, it's right, right off 285 there. That was Flair's spot, one of his spots. Of course, you know there were spots near the airport too, but uh, that. Uh, but I know exactly where it is. That that uh, that area has changed, as as all areas have, you know, in in the Metro Atlanta area a great deal since then. Give them Bart some time here, aren't they? I think uh, now it's known as uh, TJ's <laughs> Sports Bar and Grill. Yes, that's exactly what it is. TJ Sports Bar and Grill. So if you want to go check it out, it's still mm-hmm. around. Mm-hmm. 2880 Holcomb Bridge Road in Alpharetta, Georgia. Oh, okay. Now I know that one. I know where I know exactly where that is. That is a cheesehead bar now. That's uh where Packer fans go. Yeah, where Packer fans go to watch their games on Sunday. Look at Bart taking flight here, man. Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.